Chanel Schaefer here with Sheep Hill Herbs and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new, please subscribe before you go and thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a ginger tea with real ginger root, which is nice and spicy and pungent and warming and has many awesome benefits. So here we go. Okay, I'm back in my kitchen and what you need for this to make this tea is a piece of ginger root. This is about the size of my palm and I'm going to slice it so we'll get the exact amount. I'm going to say it might be about three quarters of a cup and you need a, a pan or pot with um, ah. the ability to hold eight cups of water that will be simmering the ginger in. Here is my ginger. My measuring cup so I can measure how much ginger I actually have here. I like to use a serrated knife to cut the ginger and then I have my pot here my stainless steel with eight cups of water already and I'm going to be boiling well actually I shouldn't say boiling simmering so it's like a low boil the ginger on the stove for 30 minutes to make a nice and dark ginger tea. Here is my ginger and it smells so, so good. I have sliced it. The ginger root was washed, but I do leave the skin on and I leave the skin on <laughs> most of my things. So how much do I have? Putting it in here. It's like I said, about three quarters of a cup, not quite a full cup, but almost. I'm gonna put it in my water and then move this to the stove. I have just turned on my stove. I have it set at five and a half, six. And I'm gonna pay attention to this pot and make sure it's not like boiling and getting too high. I want a slow simmer and I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes and kind of keep my eye on it while it's uh, simmering and extracting the properties from the ginger root into the water. Now you can do this tea for much longer than 30 minutes. It gets even darker, even stronger, and you can double and triple the amount of ginger. But for a more pleasant tasting tea, not as strong, still very good for um, the health purposes that I will share in a minute, I would only recommend this amount of ginger. While I'm waiting for my ginger tea to simmer and be ready, I just wanted to share the reasons and the purposes for making this tea. So it's winter, it's cold. In the winter time, you can get sluggish in many ways in your digestion, your circulation. Unless you're very active and getting outside, certain herbs will help kind of stimulate their stimulant herbs and stimulate the body, stimulate digestion, and even get the blood moving and the sluggishness out of your, your step and the way you feel. So. Ginger is one of my favorite herbs. It's a spice, it's an herb, and I love it fresh. So this tea is like absolutely one of my favorites. I cook it on the stove uh, simmering and then add a little bit of milk. I usually use the almond milk and a little bit of honey. It warms, it just warms you up. It helps your belly feel great. If you're getting over a cold, it will really help with that getting back to normal feeling. It just opens up your chest, opens up your bronchioles. It's just an amazing spice, amazing plant, amazing herb. And it's really simple to make ginger tea. And it is much, much more effective than just buying a ginger aid or a ginger tea in a tea bag in a box in the grocery store. You're not going to get the same thing. Go to the produce section and buy ginger root. And if you can get organic, that is the best yet. This is a boiling a little bit too much and I just turned it down. So I wanted you to see what a boil was. And this is a little bit too vigorous and I want it to be more of a simmer. So I just turned my heat to four now and it is starting to slow down. My tea is finished and it's a lovely golden color. You can see it's like a nice little yellow. And if you would simmer longer and with more ginger, it's going to even get like a dark 
brown and much stronger. So at this point, I'm going to pour it into a cup, add a little milk and honey, and enjoy. My ginger tea is finished, and it is delicious. I hope you get a chance to make some. But leave a comment down below your favorite use for ginger. Comment down below, hit the like button, and come again. Thanks.